Well, hey everybody, I'm Jesse Munson with Munson Boats, and today I want to show you our 36-foot research vessel we just completed for the State University of New York. Um, it's twin diesel, Volvo-powered. Uh, it's got lots of hydraulic systems, electronics, large cabin, uh, quite a few features. Right now, we're in station hold capability with the Volvo diesels. Tell us a little bit more about joystick capability. So yeah, these Volvos uh, came equipped with dynamic positioning, uh, joystick piloting, um, also with the docking and autopilot functionality. Uh, Volvo is the only joystick that allows um, piloting at speed uh, with the joystick. Uh, currently we are in station hold or dynamic positioning. Uh, what's super nice about the Volvo system is with the joystick you can make small adjustments to the positioning of the boat while the boat is in dynamic positioning. If you rotate it, you can make a one degree change uh, to the course of the boat. Um, the boat will slightly rotate um, in the direction that you uh, rotated the joystick and then go back to its station keeping. You can also move the boat over um, by moving the joystick sideways that will move the boat over one meter or three feet um, and then the boat will reposition and go back into dynamic positioning. Right now we're in what probably six seven knot current? Correct yeah probably yeah. six knots yeah. of current in here um, and the engines are are barely uh, popping in and out of gear just to keep us in station here and you can see it's it's keeping us perfectly on station. Yeah, yeah. so yeah one of the the uh, important features with this boat was the joystick capability and particularly the station hold. Um, but it also works with autopilot and you can you know, do all kinds of different handy features with Correct. the Correct, you can go to your MFD or to your glass cockpit and you can set waypoints and navigate to a waypoint, um, use your heading or course hold or any of the other normal autopilot functions that you would find. So this is a full walk around cabin um, with passageways on both sides and you know in the aft corner here we've got a full head compartment with a sink um, long workstation here with a sink as well as a refrigerator freezer a Dometic unit down below we've got a survey station here with another Furuno MFD touchscreen um, and then a really nice four-person settee uh, with storage below and a large table with three cup holders the cabin is also equipped with a uh, Wabatso forced air diesel cabin heater. Uh, great for defrost, uh, set the thermostat and it cycles on and off. Um, we've got a generator providing 120 volt power uh, with multiple outlets in the cabin. And then like all months and boats, we've got overhead grab rails and a air conditioner that is powered by the generator as well. The generator on this boat is a nine kilowatt Onan diesel generator. So this boat is also equipped with a solar battery charger with a display here on the dash. Um, all the AC breaker panel on the inboard side here. And then we also have a remote control bow door switch for raising and closing the door. Spotlight controls as well as zip wake interceptors for helping trim out the boat uh, when underway. And as we approach the beach here, we're gonna lower the ramp. Perfect. So this 36 foot pack hat um, is a combination of many great features that we offer in Munson Boat. You know, the hydraulic rear A-frame with the open transom is something we've done quite a bit of in conventional pointed bow boats, um, but it's becoming more popular in the research boat uh, to do it with a landing craft. So you've got open bow deck and an open stern deck with the cabin kind of a midship. Um, you know, the bow door on this boat is seven feet wide. Uh, lots of open deck space, even though the cabin's quite a bit forward. 
There's still a lot of working area up on the front deck. You can see we have uh, power haulers on the port and starboard sides uh, for working with nets and deploying and retrieving equipment. Um, and then we have a 12 volt anchor winch with a thousand feet of line and chain. Um, you know, big giant windlass for anchoring. But come on board, let me show you some more. So yeah, back here in the stern deck, it's all business. Uh, we have a Kenematics hydraulic deck winch that's capable of holding 500 feet of line. Port and starboard, we have these four inch pipe davits with these stainless steel winches, each hold, hold a 500 feet of line. <coughs> and then the hydraulic A-frame, which when it's vertical is 11 feet above the cargo deck here uh, and is retractable via these hydraulic rams. Of course, we've got the stern gate, which is a lift out door for an open transom design for bringing in nets and other equipment. Justin, tell us more about the hydraulic system we have here. Jesse, this is an engine driven load sensing hydraulic system. Uh, essentially what that means is the system is circulating fluid at all times. Uh, so the system can be used basically all the time at any RPM range. Um, the three circuits that the hydraulic system is providing fluid to are obviously these thousand pound davits and the A-frame that you talked about. And to turn the system on, you have an activation switch at the helm, which also serves as an emergency deactivation switch if there's any issues. Now the davits are rated for a thousand pounds. They have this stainless steel pin that locks the davit into position. The davit can be rotated 360 degrees has this hydraulically actuated davit winch here, metered valve so you can control the speed, either retrieval or deployment speed. Davit then unpins, spins back around, locks into place. You also have this 1500 pound articulating A-frame. A-frame controls down here at the locker face. We have stops for securing the A-frame at the stern. Emergency shutoff switch if there's an accident at the stern and the hydraulic system needs to be shut down. And then also controls for the deck winch, which are also metered controls. On the stern deck, we have a NATO grid pattern of threaded inserts for locking down different equipment to the deck, taking it on and off as needed. Uh, one of the things that uh, I wanted to point out about the A-frame is we've got heavy solid stainless steel, 316 stainless steel pins with oil impregnated bronze bushings. This is the kind of fine detail stuff that'll keep this A-frame working over time. Uh, same thing with this attachment here, as well as the attachment to the hull. So one of the things we provide on a lot of research, survey, and also dive boats is these pass-throughs. So this, this plug is just a cap that seals the pass-through closed that allows equipment, hoses, cables to be routed from inside of the house to the aft deck area without going through the door or window. And on this boat as well, we have overhead pass-throughs with these candy canes up above. The, uh, there's one here on the port side, as well as on the starboard side here that has a plug, but it routes up to this uh, second radar arch assembly that basically is for the client to attach whatever they see fit. We don't have any equipment on this arch. We're using the forward arch for the lights and the radome and all of that. This is for, again, whatever they may want to attach to it. It's unobstructed. It can be taken on and off the boat. There's no wires going to it with pass-throughs on both sides to route equipment up there as needed. So this 36-foot research boat for the State University of New York is not your conventional landing craft. Uh, large aft deck, 
um, bigger than the forward deck, which is becoming more popular with our boats, but it shows what the capabilities of our landing craft design lend themselves to. But still enough room in the bow to allow for the power haulers, and working gear over the side, transporting equipment, and then having the landing craft door to not only beach the boat, but work as a more or less a swim platform on the bow of the boat. Um, and then this large stern with the deck winch, the A-frame, the big 1,000 pound davits, the stern door, and a large full width swim step make for an excellent research boat that's capable of doing a lot of things and doing them very well. Um, hey, I appreciate you guys watching our video and keep following us at uh, MunsonBoats.com as well as on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.